Some people see failure in any single opportunity, and other people see opportunity in every single failure. Both of them are correct, but only one will make you successful. Only one can make you rich. Only one of those perspectives will actually bring you the abundance that you seek. This world, this matrix, this Maya that we're in, is a universe of cause and effect. Every single force has an opposite, an equal reaction to it. And to get the thing that you're striving for, to get the outcome that you desire, to actualize the reality that you want, there are going to have to be things that you do. If you want to make money, you probably got to sell things. If you get that job, you're going to have to fill out a couple of applications and go to the interviews to get an attractive and wonderful woman in your life. You're probably going to have to go out there and be social and learn social skills and learn how to riz up the chickies to build your body, to create and sculpt a physique that you can be proud of going to have to get dialed in with your nutrition. You're going to have to go to the gym. You're going to have to get stronger on key compound lifts. There's just really no way around it. To bring these things to fruition, there's things that you gotta fucking do. Whether you feel like doing them or not. And every single day, you have to be consistent. You have to have in your mind's eye what you want and pursue it and take the action, that will result in that result. There's no way around it. And it's easy for us as humans to get caught up in our emotions about how we feel. Oh, you know, I just felt like screwing up on on my diet. I just felt like, you know, not posting that piece of content. I felt, I felt, I felt feelings, feelings, feelings. These are emotions. And emotions are energy in motion. It's simply a sensation that you are perceiving, that you are experiencing. But this emotion is not you. Therefore, you should not be allowing it to control your actions. I mean, if that's the choice you make to let it control your actions, that is up to you. And you are more than welcome to do that. But to be a man of substance, to be a man who is able to have a vision, who is able to see exactly what he wants and then go make it happen you cannot allow your actions to be dictated by your emotions you must allow your reason your logic your acquired knowledge and your experience to be dictating your actions because otherwise you will be like a feather in the wind you will be a like a dry little fucking tumbleweed going all throughout texas being blown wherever the wind decides because that's what your emotions are if you are a child that is fine you can live your life based on your emotions if you are a woman you can afford that but if you are a man it is not something you can afford but we look around at the the world around us the the men that we see and they're not really men because they're allowing their actions to be dictated by their emotions they are highly highly emotional They're not saying, what is best for me? What is best for my family? What is best for the society around me? And doing those things because they know they're right. To create the life that you want, you have to see that even in the hard situations, good things can be gleaned from it. There is gold. There is a silver lining in every single cloud. And you need to be seeing opportunity in every failure, in every single negative situation. There's something you can do. There's an action that you can take. No matter what the situation is, on the chessboard, you can still move your pawn. You can still move your king. You can still move your bishop in the best way as you can. It does not matter. You need to be like a robot. A robot follows orders and follows commands based on ones and zeros. It does things because it's programmed to do it that way. And no matter what the external reality around you looks like, 
you need to say, no. It doesn't matter how I feel about the situation. I must do the right thing. We must do the right thing. Because if we don't, then who the fuck's going to? There's things that you want. Brother, I know there's things that you want. If you were exactly where you wanted to be, you would not be here watching this video. You probably want a better body. You probably want to upgrade your finances. You probably want to bring better and deeper and more connected experiences into your life. And so there's a person that you're going to have to become in that process. You need to be, you, you don't just need to do the things. You need to become the person who naturally does those things. So that you don't have to try to bring those things into your life. Does the businessman have to try so hard to be a businessman? That's just his fucking thing. He just goes out and if he sits around for too long, he'll come up with a product idea and figure out this mass crazy marketing campaign to put together and sell it to his to his audience or to the, his you know potential customers. He doesn't have to try to be the businessman. The guy who has the most you know put together physique you know, after a couple of years of doing that, he doesn't have to go around trying to be a fitness athlete. He just loves going to the gym. He just goes to the gym three, four, five times a week because that's part of who he is. It's like breathing. It's like, it's like eating food. Like he just, you eat food every single day. You just have to eat food. It doesn't matter what happens or how far into credit card debt you go. You will find a way to get some fucking calories into your system because that's what you do. Same thing with your goals. Same thing with the situations in your life that you want to bring into fruition. You have to become like that person who already has that thing attached to their identity. You're not there yet because that's not the person you are. Because you, not ha you have not consciously... <sighs> You have not changed your mind. You haven't changed the programming. As naturally as you breathe and as naturally as you sleep and as naturally as you seek out food when you're hungry, that's how you need to be with your goals. In every single negative situation, there's always something you can do. There is always an opportunity on the chessboard, no matter how negative the situation may seem. Positive thinking isn't something you do just for the sake of positive thinking. It's because the state of mind you choose to be in, that you consciously choose, that is a reflection of who you are. So do you want to be the person who, even no matter how good the situation is, you always find a way to fuck it up? Or do you want to be the person who embodies the, 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 the state of mind where it doesn't matter how bad the economy gets. It doesn't matter what situation they're in. They will find a way to actualize their vision. If you think about bringing your goals to fruition, it's an expression of your power, of your will. You decide something and therefore it comes to fruition. The ultimate example of that would be, imagine a God figure, whether you believe in like big man in the sky or not is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. But imagine there's a God in the sky, right? And anything he says goes, he decides it's going to be that way. And there isn't even a second between the. It's not like he decides that he's going to make that decision. And then five seconds later, it comes to fruition as he thinks, therefore it is. It wasn't like, ooh, I'm going to create the earth and then 10 seconds passed and now the earth is created. It's like, as soon as it is seen in the mind's eye, it is. The process of you becoming more powerful, you becoming a god over your own life. You want to be constantly shortening the time between when you decide something is going to be a certain way and the action you take on it. Instead of saying, oh, you know, I should probably getting around to losing that 20 pounds and, you know, you sit for a couple weeks and then you start taking some action, but then you binge again. It's like, there's all this back and forth and maybe it'll take you six months to finally actualize 
you know, your vision of what a powerful and strong physique look like looks like. Instead of that, how about you just cut out the bullshit and become more powerful in your life by condensing that time down to two months or one month. And that is the process that you have to go through as a man. Instead of deciding something, sitting on it for a while and allowing your actions to be blown around by your fucking emotions, which are always changing. They're always blowing around like some giant storm on the ocean. You say, no, this is the vision that I've actualized or that I want to actualize for myself. And I just fucking do it because that's what I've decided. And that's what the process of maturing is, the process of gaining wisdom. You realize that all these thoughts, all these emotions, blah, 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 all this bullshit, this trauma going on, all this trauma going on in your fucking head is just an illusion. It's just a distraction. It's blowing around. It's going to do its fucking thing. And maturing isn't necessarily getting rid of all that mentor, mental chatter. It's simply just ignoring it. It's just like a fucking highway. If you're taking a walk and you kind of hear the highway over there, yeah, at first, like when the f first couple cars go past, yeah, you're going to like hear the cars. But eventually it's going on so much that you just start to fucking ignore it. And it just kind of fades away into the background. So, you know, like these intrusive thoughts, these kind of weird things that you think about, these paranoid thoughts about what if this happens or what if that happens or what if I fail or just fucking ignore it and do what you need to do, whether you feel like doing it or not. And that is the key to the game. You already fucking know what to do. I know you do, brother. You know what to do. Like, if you want to transform your physique, don't let some fucking schmuck on the internet tell you you need to do all these fancy, like, fasting things. Like, you don't. You literally know what you need to do. Just stop eating bullshit. Start tracking your calories. Stop going over your calories. Go to the gym a couple times a week. And get your sleep dialed in. And then sprinkle in some creatine and some other, you know, fancy bullshits on top. Um, bullshit supplements on top of that if you decide that. And that's literally it. You already know. So why are you procrastinating on taking action? Or why are you taking action and then undoing it by going on a binge or skipping your, the gym for two weeks? And You just got to be consistent. The most powerful and profound lessons in self-improvement and self-actualization is always the most simple shit out there. The most powerful ones are the most simple, and that's why everybody ignores them. Everybody wants the fancy new secret and all this bullshit. No. It's consistency on the fundamentals. Consistency. You need to stop seeing failure in every single opportunity and start seeing opportunity in every single failure. You need to start seeing opportunity an opportunity to take the correct act action in a situation that may not be optimal. Because you realize that no situation is optimal. Anybody who's ever written a book, made a movie, made a YouTube video, transformed their physique, gotten their health in check, make a bunch of money, there's never an optimal time. Except, here's, here's, here's the caveat, there actually is the ultimate optimal time. And you know what the ultimate optimal time is? It's right fucking now, my dude. So why are you waiting? Why am I waiting? Holy shit, like, I'm making this video and I'm having so many, like, mini realizations because there's so many areas in my life where I'm procrastinating and I'm ignoring some of the things that I know I should be doing. So instead of doing that, Instead of procrastinating, because you're always making a choice. You're either making a choice to do the action or you're making a choice to put off the action, which is an action in of itself. So how about instead of make it, taking the action that's going to lead you to being more stressed, more depressed, more kind of like, you know, not having self-respect in yourself because every single time you procrastinate on the things you know you need to do and you're not consistent on the things you know you need to be consistent with, you lose self you you lose self trust you lose respect for yourself so that's it like you already know what you got to do brother so just lock in and do it 
whether you feel like doing it or not. Because you will become more godlike. You will become more powerful in your own life. You decide something, you fucking do it. I will speak with you very, very soon. Peace.